Hey y'all, what's good? I wanted to come before you guys and read something to you and break it down. So what I'm going to be reading to you guys is um, John chapter 14, verses 15 through 31. And the um, subtitle of it is Jesus Promises the Holy Spirit. It says, if you love me, you will obey what I command. And I will ask the Father and he will give you another counselor. To be with you forever, the spirit of truth. The world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him. But you know him, for he lives with you and will be in you. I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you. Before long, the world will not see me anymore. But you will see me because I live. You also will live. On that day, you will realize that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Whoever has command, who, who has my commands and obeys them, he is the one who knows me. He who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love him and show myself to him. Then Judas, not Judas Iscariot, said, But Lord... Why do you intend to show yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus replied, If anyone loves me, he will obey my teachings. My Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. He who does not love me will not obey my teachings. These words you hear are not my own. They belong to the Father who sent me. All this I have spoken while still with you, but the Counselor the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. You heard me say I am going away I and I am coming back to you. If you love me, you will be glad that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. I have told you now before it happens, so that when it does happen, you will believe. I will not speak with you much longer, for the Prince of this world is coming. He has no hold on me, but the world must learn that I love the Father, and I do exactly what my Father has commanded me. Come now, let us leave. So essentially, Jesus is telling us that if we love him, we're going to keep his command. We're going to treat people the way we want to be treated. We're going to serve him with our whole heart, whole mind, whole soul. And by doing that, we don't only know Jesus and don't only receive the love of Jesus, but we also receive the love of God, the Father. Because the word of God says you cannot get to the Father unless we... Unless we go through Jesus, because Jesus was the sacrificial lamb that was crucified on a tree for the remission of our sins to bridge the gap between God and humanity. So, but the awesome thing about it, he's saying that I, I got to go. You know what I'm saying? I came to show you guys how to live, how to live in obedience to the father until my commanding of my spirit over. So now I'm going to leave, but I'm not going to leave you effortless. I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm not going to leave you with the God. I'm not going to leave you with help. I'm going to give you the counsel of the Holy Spirit to lead in God and order your steps each and every day of your life. As long as you receive me, willing to serve me, obey my commands, my statutes, and my decrees, you are showing me that you love me, that you appreciate the sacrifice, the gift from the Father, which was Jesus. So you guys, remember, our life is not our own. God is not asking for perfection. I'm a living testament. I am not perfection. I fall short every day, just like everybody else. But I know that because of Jesus, I have grace, I have mercy, and I have for forgiveness. But that doesn't mean you take advantage and do things just because Jesus um, was crucified on a tree for us. That God gave him as um, 
and atonement to pay our debts in full. That doesn't mean to just be sinful, live a sinful life. That means he gave you an opportunity to prevent damnation. You know, so you don't want, just like we don't want our children to take our kindness for weakness, we don't want to take God's kindness for weakness. God gave us Jesus to make us whole again, to restore us, so we can have everlasting life in heaven with him. So again, you guys, if you have not given your life over to Christ, pray. If you don't know what prayer is, just sit and have a conversation. Just sit and talk like you talk to anybody else and just cry out the name of Jesus and ask him to come into your life. All right. All right, y'all.